thank you for joining me today and I'm going to be introducing uh, the the rush model as a continuation of the intro to item response theory that I've done previously so the rush model is centered around the idea of in variant measurement now what does that mean Invariant measurement is the idea that any inferences that we make are consistent in this and identical regardless of which people we use to calibrate our measurements and irrespective of inferences about people are invariant or consistent across different items we would use. So the Roche model is centered around this really one basic equation of the probability that our observed item response for person in on item I is equal to one is conditional on the difficulty of an item and the location of a person. And that is what we've described similarly as a transformation of those two parameters. In Rosh is very straightforward where it is the person's ability minus how difficult the item is. And it's this really straightforward relationship between item difficulty and person ability. In Roche models, these are called either difficulty or per item parameter and the person parameter. Having a defined and simple relationship between a person and an item allows us to evaluate them simultaneously. And because this is one of the simplest logistic models, it allows for a lot of straightforward uh, manipulation of that probability. And one of the things that makes it the Roche model so appealing is that this probability, when we transform it onto the logit scale, which is the logarithmic odds unit, or the log of the probability over one minus the probability. And where P and I is just a shorthand for this probability up here. And that is just equal to BN minus DI. And the amazing part about the Roche model is that this logit and this parameter is allows us to have a consistent ability to look at differences across people that have different levels of ability and it is this piece right here that is the power of the rush model 